This is lesson 13 of the first grade of Open Courts Collections for Young Scholars. This lesson is being done at the end of the third week of first grade. In this videotape, you'll see Kelly Manos teaching lesson 13. Each part of the lesson is identified so that you can either watch it in its entirety to get a sense of the pacing of the entire lesson or watch only specific parts. The parts are getting started, phonemic awareness, introducing the sound spelling card timer, blending, using the workbook, reading the phonics mini books, word building, and workshop. Kelly begins the lesson with getting started activities. Our first game we're going to do this morning, I'm thinking of a sound, and I'm thinking of the mmm sound, and I want to make some words that start with mmm. Monkey, maple, mom, wonderful. Can anyone else think of some words that start with mmm? Michael, what starts with mmm? Michael. Michael. Who else knows a word that starts with mmm? Sarah, what starts with mmm? Much. Much. I have too much candy. Who else knows what starts with mmm? Tony. Money. Money. And Lanisha, what else starts with mmm? Miss Manos. Mrs. Manos. Wonderful. Very good. Let's do another sound. Watch my mouth. Timer, turtle, ticking. Can anyone else think of a word that starts with the t sound? Omar? Ticket. Tickets. Very good. Who else knows another word? Tony? Ten. Ten. Very good. And Michael, give me one more t word. Table. Table. Fabulous. Now, for our second game this morning, getting started activity this morning, I'm going to take a walk. And I'm walking through the jungle, and I need you to help me blend some words. Thumbs up if you can help me blend some words. Okay. I see a mmm. Unky. Monkey. Oh, fabulous. I see in the jungle, I see a ooh. Iron. Also see a t tiger. Tiger! The first 30 lessons of first grade contain a review of phonemic awareness. Our next activity this morning, we're starting our phonemic awareness. I'm so excited. Listen very carefully. I am going to write something on the board, and you have to watch me very carefully. This is the word tent. What's the word, everybody? Tent. tent. Now I want to change it. Now I want it to start with s. Tent. Oh, fabulous. Now I want to change it. Now I want it to start with o. Yes. Very good. Now I want to change it. Now I want it to start with z. Zent. That's a funny word, zent. Now I want to change it one more time, and I want it to start with R. Rent. Rent. You are so good at changing the beginning sound. Let's do another one. This is the word male. What's the word? Male. Male. Very good. I don't want it to say male anymore. I want to change the beginning sound. I want it to start with Sail. Sail. Look at that. Now I want to change it. Now I want it to start with p. Pale. Oh, super. Now I want to change it. Now I want it to start with r. Rail. Oh, you are so fabulous. Last one. Now I want to change it. Now I want it to start with t. Tail. Tail. That was Fabulous. We have to pull out someone very special this morning for our next activity. Hey. Mm. 
You know who this is. Say good morning, Birdie. Good morning, Birdie. What, what was that, Birdie? You think these students are smart? Oh, you know, I was just telling them yesterday that they are so smart. Well, let's see if Birdie can join us today with some games. Birdie loves to play games with words. Thumbs up if you know that Birdie loves to play games with words. Okay, listen very carefully. Now, Birdie, this morning I'm going to say a word, and I just want you to repeat it. Can you do that today? Okay, you can do it. Listen very carefully. <clears throat> Soon. Soon. Okay, Bertie, maybe you didn't hear the directions. I need you to listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. Listen to my word and repeat it. Grab. Grab. <laughs> maybe he wasn't really paying attention. Let's listen one more time. Bertie, repeat the word that I say. Soup. Soup. <laughs> what is Bertie doing? What is Birdie doing? Sarah, what is Birdie doing? Before he was saying the last sound, but now he's saying the whole sound, but not the last sound. Oh, he's forgetting the last sound. Birdie, you are crazy. Listen one more time, Birdie. Leap. 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 <laughs> Who else knows what Birdie is doing? Who else knows? Thea, what's Birdie doing? He's forgetting the last sound. He's crazy. He forgets the last sound. How about you play the game with Birdie? I hope you can act like Birdie and be the mouth for Birdie. Are you ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, here we go. Birdie and students, listen to me. <clears throat> Bike. Bye. Bye. Okay, another one. Listen very carefully. You're trying to trick me, everybody. Lake. Lake. One more. Listen very carefully. Loop. Loop. You're just forgetting the ending sounds. We'll have to put Birdie away. He just loves to play too many games. One thing we forgot to do before we learn our new sound today is sing a song. It's one of my favorite songs. And it goes like this. Learned it to yesterday. The short A is in lamb. The short A is in lamb. The short A is in lamb. Who else knows a word that has a ah in it? Who else knows a word? Lanisha, do you know a word that has a ah in it? The short A is in uh, hat. Hat! Let's do it. The short A is in hat. The short A is in hat. Short A is in hat. Who else knows an A ah word? Um, Lizette, give me an A ah word. Um, bat. Bat. Oh, fabulous. Ready? The short A is in bat. The short A is in bat. Ah, 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 ah. The short A is in bat. Who else knows an A ah word? Uh, Jonathan. Um, cat. Say it again. Cat. Cat. The short A is in cat. The short A is in cat. Ah, 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 ah. The short A is in cat. One more. One more. Leslie, what has A ah in it? Apple. Say it again. Apple. Apple. A two syllable word. The short A is in apple. The short A is in apple. The short A is in apple. Give yourself a pat on the back. You know all of your apps. Very good. Today, Kelly is introducing the sound spelling card, Timer. Today, we have a new sound. We are going to learn our new sound spelling card. I'm so excited. Here it is. Take a look. Raise your hand and tell me something about this card. Raise your hand and tell me something about this card. Uh, Maximo, tell me something about this card. It's a um, timer. He knows. He remembered from kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Who else can tell me something about this card? Le uh, Emma. Um, um, the name of it is timer. Do you know anything else about it? 
Anything about this? What? The spelling. What's the spelling? T. Fabulous. Fabulous. I'm going to turn it over and you're going to see it and then you have to tell me more about it. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Oh, raise your hand. Who can tell me something about our new sound spelling card? Sarah, tell me something. Uh, Tuesday. Okay. It's the same sound. It starts with t Tuesday. Very good. So, Sarah, what's the sound? T. Wonderful. Who else can tell me something about this card? Thea. Uh, the spelling is T and timer starts with T. Oh, wonderful. Very good. Is it a vowel or a consonant? Is it a vowel or a consonant? Maximo? Um, um, that's a T because uh, that T have a timer that say, um, t, t. It says t. Very good, and it, it ticks. Very good. Times. Very good. Now, ma now is it a, a vowel or a consonant? We learned about vowels Cassonate. yesterday. Say it again. Consonant. It's a consonant. Very good. What color are the vowels? Raise your hand and tell me. What color are the vowels? Um, Albert. Red. They're red. They're very special. Sometimes they do what, Albert? Say their own name. Sometimes they say their own name. Very good. Well, I am so excited for this card. The name of the card is Timer. The sound is, tell me the sound. <laughs> and the spelling is T. T. I'm going to put it right, actually I'm going to put it right here on the board. And you are going to listen to the story. Eyes on me, ears on me. <coughs> when Tom Tuttle cooks, he uses his timer. Tom Tuttle's timer ticks like this. Tonight, Tom Tuttle wants tomatoes on toast. Tom turns on the oven. Tom puts tomatoes on toast in the oven. Tom sets the timer. The timer will ding when Tom's toast and tomatoes are done. Until the timer dings, it ticks. Help me out. Tomatoes on toast takes 10 minutes. Tom can hardly wait. He taps out the time. What is the sound of Tom Tuttle's ticking timer, everybody? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Time for dinner, Tom Tuttle. Kelly takes a few minutes to play a tape-recorded story. Let's listen to the tape, and we'll hear our story again. And if you want to help Tom Tuttle, you help Tom by saying the sound. Here we go. Tony, you are being such a good listener. Listen. Timer. When Tom Tuttle cooks, he uses his timer. Tom Tuttle's timer ticks like this. Look, it's right here. Tonight, Tom Tuttle wants tomatoes on toast. Tom turns on the oven. Tom puts tomatoes on toast in the oven. Tom sets the timer. The timer will ding when Tom's toast and tomatoes are done. Until the timer the dings, timer. it ticks. Help him out. T -t 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 Wonderful. Tomatoes on toast take 10 minutes. T -t 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 Good job. Tom can hardly wait. He taps out the time. What is the sound of Tom Tuttle's ticking timer? Ding! Time for dinner, Tom Tuttle. Who can raise their hand and tell me the name of our new card? The name of our new card, Tony. T. What's the name of the sound spelling card? Timer. Woo, timer. What is the sound that the timer makes? Michael, what's the sound? Oh, fabulous. And what is the spelling? What's the spelling? 
Leslie, what's the spelling? T. T. Very good. I'm going to the board. I'm going to write our new spelling on the board, and I'm going to say the sound. Everybody get your pointer fingers up. You are going to do it in the air while I do it on the board. Here we go. I want to hear you. When you spell it, you say it. Here we go. Good. Good. Do some more. Good. One more. Very good. I hope you remember when you sound because you need to listen very carefully. Get your thumbs ready. If you hear a word that starts with t, you put your thumbs up. And you can say t. If you don't hear t at the beginning, what do you do? Show me. OK, let's see. Everyone's sitting up nice and straight. Your thumbs are ready. Are you ready, Salvador? OK, here we go. Listen very, very carefully. T. Very good, Thea. Tight. Ticker. Ball. Oh, I see some thumbs down. Lanisha, why didn't you put your thumbs up for that one? Because it didn't start with a t. Very good. It didn't start with a t. Very good. Let's do some more. Get your thumbs ready. Teacher. Tambourine. Table. Mouse. Mmm. That starts with mmm. Let's do a few more. Get your thumbs ready, Adam. Tie. Turtle. Top. Paint. Oh, there was a p at the beginning. Very good. Can anybody else give me a word that has t at the beginning? Table. Good. Table. Wonderful. Okay, get your thumbs ready one more time. You're listening for t at the end of the word. And you have your thumbs up and down so nicely. Thank you. Ready? It. Good. At. Brat. Bait. Room. Very good. Listen again. Hit. Shot. Rat. Rot. Leap. Ooh, very good. Who can give me a word that has t at the end of the word? T at the end. Jonathan, give me a word with t at the end. Tree? That's the beginning. That's a t at the beginning. Good. Can you think of one that has t at the end of the word? Think of one. Let me give you a clue. Uh, let me give you some uh, hints. I think of hat or rat. Think of one that has t at the end. Cat. Fabulous. Cat. Very good. Hands down. Who'd like to come to the board and write some t? Now, you have a job to do. While someone's at the board, the rest of us, we have to get our hands out we have to write our spelling and say the sound. Come on up, Lizette. Move this for you. OK, Lizette, right here. Everybody get your hands ready. Lizette's ready. You're going to say the sound when you write the spelling. Everybody, you're going to say the sound as you write the spelling. Here we go. Lizette, go. Ready? Lizette ends with t. Go ahead. Write it. Everybody, go. Good. Do another one, Lizette. One more. Wonderful. Tony, come on up. Tony starts with t. Everybody get your hands ready. One more time. Here we go. T. Ooh, good job. T. One more, Tony. T. Fabulous. Let's review. Thanks. Who knows the name of the card? Who knows the name of the card? Sarah, what's the name of the card? The name of the card is... The name of this card, the name of the picture. What was she Timer. Timer, fabulous. What is the sound? Raise your hand if you know the sound. Leslie. T Wonderful, and who knows the spelling? Jonathan. Mm. T. Very good, and I have one more question for you. How can we use this picture or this card to help us remember our sound? How can we use this card to help us remember the sound? Hema? Um, you see it and you say, and you say the name and you remember the sound. Oh, you are so smart. Give yourself a pat on the back. After the sound spelling card is introduced, 
Kelly moves on to blending. In this lesson, children are blending their first words. Notice how Kelly provides direct instruction in how to blend the sounds and their spellings. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we are starting something very special. We are going to use the sounds and the spellings that we've learned, a, ah, m, mm, and t, and we are going to put them together to make whole words. This is called blending. Everybody say blending. Blending. I am so excited and we are going to learn new words every day with our blending and it's going to be wonderful. So I'm going to teach you how to do it today. Okay, everybody eyes on the board. Wonderful. Watch me. I'm going to put the first sound on the board. I'm going to touch it, and I will say sound. You will say the sound. What is the sound, everybody? <coughs> Very good. So let's try it. Watch me. Watch my finger. Sound. <coughs> Very good. Wait for me. Wait for me. Sound. <coughs> mm. Wonderful. Watch me as I blend the word. Watch my finger. Watch my mouth. Am. Would you like to try it with me? Try it. Am. Do you notice my finger? It goes under each sound. Watch. Am. Let's read the word together, everybody. Am. What's the word? After blending words, children use the words in sentences and then extend the sentence. I am a teacher at Kelso School. Who can give me a sentence with the word am? Think of a sentence for you. Andre, give me a sentence with the word am. Um, I, I am what? I am at the beach. Oh, fabulous. I am at the beach. One more. Give me a sentence with the word am. Albert. I am at the... Home. I am at home, and what are you doing at home? Playing games and doing my homework. Oh, fabulous. Put it together. Put both sentences together. I am at home playing with my game and homework. And doing your homework. Super. Very good. Eyes on the board. Oh, I see. One, two, three, four, five students with their eyes right here. You ready for the second word? Watch me. Sound. Ah. Very good. Sound. Good. Blend. At. Blend one more time. At. At. What's the word? At. at. Fabulous reading. I was at the store last night and I bought six boxes of donuts. Who can give me a sentence with the word at? At. Who can give me a sentence? Adam. I mm -hmm. was at home uh -huh. playing my video games. Oh, very good. You extended your sentence. You didn't just say, I am at home. You said, I am at home playing my video games. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, let's read line one. Everybody, eyes on the board. Follow my finger. Are you ready, Andre? Here we go. Read line one. Um, Good. At. Oh, wonderful. Who can read line one by themselves? All by themselves? Andre, read line one all by yourself. M at. Fabulous. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for line two? Show me. Thumbs up if you're ready. Oh, I see so many students ready for line two. Here we go. Watch me. Sound. Ah. Good. Sound. Ah. What's this sound? Ah. Look at where my finger is. What's this sound? Ah. Blend. Ah. Blend it again. Ah. Ah. Do you notice when my finger is under the a, ah, you say a, ah, and then when it goes under the t, you say t. Let's read the word naturally. Ah. Ah. Very good. 
Last word for today. Eyes on the board. Here we go. Sound. Mm. Wonderful. Sound. Ah. Good. Watch me. Notice how Kelly blends through the vowel before writing the spelling for the final sound. Blend. Math. Very good. Watch me. Sound. Math. Hold on. What's this sound? Math. What's this sound? <laughs> Let's blend the word. Watch my finger and you say the sounds. Here we go. Math. Math. Let's do it again. Math. Let's read it naturally. Math. Very good. I took a nap on a blue mat yesterday. Can someone give me a sentence for the word mat? Or it can be the kind of mat that you wipe your feet. Who has a sentence for the word mat? Lizette. I wipe my feet at the mat. Because why? Because you, 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 can, um, you can get the, the rug dirty. Excellent, very good. Let's read line two together. Here we go, everyone's eyes on the board. Watch my finger. Here we go, Salvador. You ready? Uh, at. Let's read that again. At. Mat. Children move from reading words to sentences. Kelly reviews the outlaw or high-frequency words that children have been introduced to as part of the reading of the big book. Sentence. Love sentences. But before we do our sentence, I need to show you three words. Three outlaw words. And these words don't follow our rules. They don't have a, m, or t in it. We haven't learned it yet. So we're putting them, we're saying that they're called outlaw words. And I have them listed all on the board. Remember these words we've been talking about? The, you can read them with me. The, the is a kid was good. And a. I'm going to show you three outlaw words we're going to put in our sentence today. Read it. I Very good. Read it. I Wonderful. The Super. Every time I write an outlaw word, I'm going to put a line under it so you remember. Okay, thumbs up if you're ready for your sentence. Okay, here we go. The word is an outlaw word. What is it, everybody? Uh, I. Excellent, Jonathan. Sound. Uh, sound. Ah. Uh, uh, let's try it again. Sound. Ah. Uh, uh, sound. Mmm. Uh, blend. Uh, and. What's the first sound? Ah. Uh, uh, let's try it again. Ready? Blend. Am. Uh, uh, wonderful. This is an outlaw word. What is it? Good. This is an outlaw word. What is it? The. the. Very good. And we're going to blend our last word. We're going to blend it. So watch my finger. Watch my finger. Wait, wait. Watch. Sound. Mmm. Oh. Very good. Sound. Good. Blend. Nah. Wonderful. Watch me. Sound. No. Listen. Sound. Let's blend. Here we go to the beginning. Watch my finger, everybody. Mat. What's the word? Mat. Very good. Let's go back and read the sentence. Salvador, are you ready? Here we go. Read it. I, I am on the mat. Oh, my goodness. That was wonderful. One more time. Use your best reading voices. Ready? Go. I am. Now let's read it naturally like we speak. Watch me. Let's read it naturally. Ready, Chalia? I, I am on the mat. Listen to me. I, I am on the mat. mat. I'm going to read it naturally like I speak. I, I am on the mat. mat. Very good. Kelly quickly reviews capitals and ending punctuation. What's special about the beginning of a sentence? Who can tell me? Who can tell me what's, what's special about the beginning of a sentence? Uh, Ija? Every time we put, um... What do you put at the beginning? Um, uh, 
a capital a capital Ooh, letter. A capital letter. And what's so special about the end of a sentence? Do you know each other? Put a dot if this is a sentence. Very good. Do you know what that dot is called? Yes. What's yeah. it called? Period. Raise your hand. A period. Wonderful. Wonderful. Who can read it by themselves? Can someone read it by themselves? Lizette, read the sentence by yourself. Go ahead. I am on the mat. Very good. Get, you give yourselves a double thumbs up for blending today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to work in our reading, writing, connection books now. So when I dismiss you, you're going to go back to your seat, open up your reading, writing, connection book to page 16. Put your pencils up when you're ready. The third row, would you go back to your desks and open up your reading, writing, connection book to page 16. 16 has it in the middle. Oh, wonderful walking. The second row, would you stand up and would you walk back to your seats? Your seat has t at the end. Take out your reading, writing, connection books. Andre, right here. And the first row, would you stand up and walk back to your reading seats? I mean your desks. Take out your reading, writing, connection book. You are getting your book out and your pencil out so nicely. You are going to get so smart today, Andre. And Tony's getting his stuff out. Leslie's already ready with her pencil up. Page 16. Oh, fabulous. Luis is ready. Thea's ready. Leslie's ready. Andre. Vivian's ready. Lizette is ready. Hema's ready. Omar is ready. As children practice okay, skills, Kelly walks around teaching, supporting, and observing the children. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, take your finger. Put your finger on the picture of our new sound spelling card. The picture's in your book. Everybody, tell me the name of the card. The name of the card. T Timer. Fabulous. Everybody, tell me the sound. Good. Everybody, tell me the spelling. T. T. We're on our new one. T. Let's write. Get your pencil ready. We're going to write a line of small T's. And what do you say when you write each one? Good. Good. And go ahead. Let me see you printing nicely and saying your sound. Good, I hear you. Wonderful. I hear you. Let me see you. Here, let me hear you. Finish with the small T's. Put your pencil up so I know you're ready to go on. Okay, I think everyone's ready for capital T. What sound is it, everybody? Here we go. Capital T's. Go. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. Good. Fabulous. Let me hear you, Vivian. Good. Maximo, I hear you. Fabulous. Pencils up when you're finished. Oh, I see everyone's just about ready to go on. Today, class, we are reading our first word in our Reading Writing Connection book. I can't believe it. Everybody, put your finger on the first word, and you are going to blend it with your finger and sweep it under, just like I did on the board. Here we go. Ready? Go. Uh, what's the first sound? Uh, what's the second sound? Let's read it again. Uh, what is it? At. At. You are going to write the word at, but when you write an A, you say at. When you write the T, you say at. And then you blend it and you read it to yourself. Okay, let's see how you do it. Go ahead and write the word at. Let me hear you say your sound. Here we go. Write a first, Tony, and write and say it. Put a, and then write it and say it. Let me hear you. Oh, fabulous. What's the second sound? What's the word? Fabulous. Okay, Andre, I'm going to ask you about this word. Ready? Sound. Sound. 
blend at. Fabulous. Let's go to the second word, everybody. Put your finger on the second word. Put your finger on it. Put your, hold on, wait for me. Put your finger on it, Tony. I'm gonna ask you, what's the first sound? Tell me, everybody. Good, what's the second sound? Ah. Listen to me, blend. Nah. What's the last sound? Blend the whole word. Nah. What's the word, everybody? Nah. Excellent. Now you're gonna write it. As you write each sound, you, s you say the sound. When you write it, you say it. Okay, let me hear you. What are you gonna write first? Mmm, good. Mmm, write the mmm. Okay, now, ah, good. God bless you. Let me hear you say it. Good. Write it and say it. Did you, and read it, read it to me after. Good, touch the word. Fabulous. Pencils up when you're ready. Andre, that's fabulous. Let's read our sentence at the bottom. Put your finger on the sentence. Ready, Lanisha? Put your finger on the sentence. Thea's listening. Luis, put your finger on the sentence. Here we go. We're going to read it together. Ready? Ready, Jonathan? Finger on it. Here we go. I, look at it. I am at school. Let's read that first one more time. Ready, Lanisha? I am at school. Fabulous. You are going to write your sentence. Let's start at the edge of the line with the first word, I. Go ahead and write it. Let me hear you. That's an outlaw word, so you can put a line under it. Else? You're going to write this sentence first. Sound it out, Andre, as you write it. What's the word? Am. Good. Write the next word. Not yet. Look at the next word. Good. Sound them out. And I want you to sound it out as you write it. Good, Michael. What's this word? Look at it again. Am. Fabulous. Write it. So read it so far. I am. What's the next word? Sound it out. Good. Wonderful. Okay, what's the last? What's that word? School. School. You can, you can write school. Look at Thea. She is trying to sound out the word school. Oh my goodness, it's fabulous. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do page 17 next. Eyes on me. We have to listen for the t sound again. T at the beginning or t at the end. Listen very carefully. I will say the picture name, and you raise your hand and tell me if it's at the beginning or the end. Okay, the first picture. Table. Watch my mouth. Table. Raise your hand if you know where the t is. Listen very carefully. Table. The first sound. First sound. Right now, put a t on the first line because it's the first sound in the word. Pencils up when you're ready for the next one. Anisha, put your book down, honey. Very good. Okay, the next one. Watch me. Watch my mouth if you need to watch my mouth. Hat. Andre. Um, hat. The beginning sound. Listen again. Hat. The first sound. Mm, is the first sound. Listen very carefully. Hat. Hat. Watch. Hat. Where is it? Look again. Hat. Is it the beginning or the end? The end. Fabulous. Hat. Put the t at the end. Let me hear you say it. Put the t at the end. Very good. The next word. Get your hands ready to raise. The word is, watch my mouth, 10. Michael, loudly. At the beginning. Wonderful. Put a t at the beginning. This one goes at the end. The next one. Watch my mouth. The word is boat. Ooh, I hope you heard it. Boat. Maximo. Boat. Boat. Good. Where is it? 
Watch my the, mouth. The last, oh, the last sound. Very good. Okay, other side of the page. Watch my mouth again, Tony and Alicia. I like how you're watching me, Leslie. Cat. Leslie, tell me where the t is. Loud voice, cat. The last sound. The last sound. Very good. Put it the last. Very good. Next one is a picture of, who knows what that's a picture of? Who knows? Andre, what is it? Uh, what is this? Kite. Kite. Where's the t? Where's the t? Albert, in a loud voice, where's the t? It's at the end. Very good. Put the t at the end. Okay, the next picture is a toothbrush. Listen to me. Toothbrush. Raise your hand if you know where the t is. Uh, Leslie, where's the t? At the beginning. Very good. Put your t there at the beginning. And the last one, the word is tent. Everybody say tent. Uh-oh. Listen to the word tent. Listen, tent. Wonderful. You have to put T on both lines. Very good. Phonics mini books provide children with the opportunity to develop good reading behaviors and learn key sight words. Today's phonics mini book. I love it. Who knows the title of the book? Andre. The baby. You weren't even here yesterday to see this book. Fabulous. The baby. It's by Amy Goldman Koss, illustrated by Sylvie Wickstrom. What did Amy Goldman Koss do if she's the author? If she's the author, what did she do, Lizette? She's the author. Um, she drew the picture. She's the author. She drew the, um, the letter. She does the words or the letters. And Sylvie Wickstrom is the illustrator. What does that mean? Adam, what does that mean, illustrator? It means um, they, they, you, they paint the pictures. They did the pictures, very good. This book has two stories. The baby is the first story that we read yesterday. And the shirt <coughs> is our story for today. I'm going to pass out your books, and I want you to think about what the story was about yesterday. Okay? Take one and pass it down. Take one, pass them down. And go ahead if you need to uh, help yourself remember what happened in the story yesterday. Go ahead and browse through the old story from yesterday, the cake, and see if you remember what the story was about. I like the way Michael is going back in the story and he's going to look through to remind himself what happened in yesterday's story. I think I'm going to browse through the story from yesterday too. Adam, sit down please. Give him to Albert. Give him to Albert. Oh, I see so many people browsing through. I hope someone remembers what happened yesterday. Thank you. Next time, give him to Albert. He'll give him to me. Thank you. Everyone's browsing. All right. Who can raise their hand? And tell me, eyes on me, I'm waiting for Tony, Omar, Emma, eyes on me. Who can raise their hand and tell me what happened in yesterday's story? I'm waiting for Sarah, Salvador. What happened in yesterday's story? Maxima, what happened yesterday? Can you summarize for us in the cake? Mm, page. Well, what happened in the cake yesterday? Tell the us, look cake. at me, look at me. What happened in the story yesterday? The cake, um, uh, the 
baby. He put it on a nose, the cake. He, he, um, at that one page, he could put the mom the face, the, uh, the cake. Yes, the baby got cake all over the mom and all over the baby. That's right. Good summary, Maximo. Well, let's turn to page 11. Emma, you are such a good listener. You are turning to page 11, and your eyes are on me. Just perfect. Andre's on page 11. Tony's on page 11. Who can read the title of our new story today? Tony, would you please read the title nice and loudly? The what? What do you think the baby has in his hand? The shirt. Good. Can you read it one more time? The shirt. The shirt. Very good. Eyes on me. Good job, Omar. What I'd like you to do first is I want you to browse through your story and see if you notice anything interesting with the pictures or the words. Maybe there's some words you don't know what they are. So let's browse. If you don't remember how to browse, watch me. That's right. You're using your mind and your eyes and you're looking through. You're looking at the pictures. You're looking at the words. You're not talking to anybody. Browse through the whole story. I wonder if anyone can tell me what will happen maybe in the story or pick out some words they know. Uh, page Page 15. 15. Everyone, quietly and carefully turn your book to page 15. Emma, page 15. Tony's on 15. Omar, Michael, and you're not moving your books. Perfect. What do you notice on page 15? Uh, I notice the ba the the mom is helping the baby put on his pants and his shirt. Oh yes, the mother is helping him get dressed. Does anybody else want to comment on what they see in the story? Maximo, what page? Page 13. 13. Maximo, what do you see on page 13? I see the, the baby. Mm -hmm. he, he helping the, putting the, um, the, the stuff, um, the shore, he, um, he sort of, um, he doing, he did it right. He put on the, he, the socks, he put in the, um, the fingers, the, um, the pants, he put in us over, over here, so. What um, is this? Your what? Um, your. What's this called? Your hair. Your hair, your head. Very good. Yeah, this um, baby looks crazy, Maximo, doesn't he? Yeah. Who else notices something while they're browsing through? Someone who's sitting nicely, who has their hand up nicely, who's not talking. Albert, what do you see while you're when you were browsing? Page. What page? Do you notice anything about the words? Page. Albert? Twelve. Twelve. Everybody turn your book to page twelve nicely. Page twelve. You're not listening. What do you notice, Albert? Um, he, the baby, the baby has, has his pants on, on his, on his body. Oh, he put his pants on his arms. That is so silly. Does anybody notice anything about the words? The print. Lizette, the words. Do you see anything interesting? What page? Um, page. I love it when you browse. You browse so nicely. Page, um. Fourteen. Fourteen. Do you, what do you notice about the words? Any words that you know? I see the. The is on the. Two thes. That's strange. Why is the the first one and the second one? What's the difference between them, Lizette? Because um, one is capital, one is lowercase. Oh, one is capital, one is lowercase. Well, let's go back to the beginning. Everyone, nicely like Salvador, like Maximo, turn your book, your page, back to page 11. And eyes on me. The title is The Shirt. Ooh, I noticed something about our new sound. 
in the title, the shirt. Now I'm looking at page 11 and I'm looking at the title and I notice it's called the shirt. Hmm. There's something special about the sound we learned today about the title, the shirt. Who can figure it out? Andre, what's so special about the shirt um, and our sound today? The shirt is... The shirt. Um, Check your card. You see something special about the t card? The timer card that's in the shirt? Look at the title. What's the title, Andre, on this page, 11? What's the title? Read it to me. The shirt. The shirt. I heard it. I heard it. Something special Andre just said. I the heard shirt. It. I heard it again. Who can raise their hand and tell me what they hear? Ija, what do you hear? I hear it's at the end of the sound. It's the end. What's at the end? The T. What sound was it? Fabulous. Kelly teaches new outlaw words to the whole class. Before we start the shirt today, I have a word I need to show you. And I was browsing and I noticed it on page 12. It's a new outlaw word and the word is R. So when we get to page 12, I hope you remember the word R. All right, who'd like to, well actually before we start reading page 11, let's read page 11 to ourselves in your brain. Use your fingers to follow. Touch every word. Go ahead and read it to yourself. Ready? Go. To yourself, Tony. To yourself. Page 11. To yourself, Lizette, in your brain. Read it again if you have an extra time. Who would like to read page 11 nice and loudly to the class? Albert, would you read page 11, please? Follow with Albert. Put your finger on it. Page 11. Page 11. Go ahead, Albert. We're ready. The shirt is on the baby's head. The head. Oh, my goodness. Very good. Page 12. Read it to yourself. Read it to yourself with your finger in your brain. Read it again if you have time. Touch the words. Mm -hmm. Who would like to read page 12 out loud? Adam, could you read page 12? Everybody follow with Adam? Everybody? The baby is pretty. Okay, go back to page 12. Put your finger on the first word. Okay, let's follow the first word. Go ahead, Adam. The baby. What is that a picture of? The purple things. What are those? Jeans. Jeans or pants. You could say either one. The pants. Keep reading. The, the pants. Look at our new word. Look at our new word. R. Keep the going, Adam. The pants is R. The on the hands. Good. Let's read it together. The, Good. The pants Good. are Good. on the the hands. Excellent. Page 13. Read it to yourself first, like Luis is going to read it to himself, and Chalia is going to read it to herself, and Salvador. Who'd like to read page 13 to the class, someone who's paying attention? Um, Ija, go ahead and read page 13 nice and loudly. Put your finger on it. Put your finger on it. The Good. socks are on the hand. How silly is that? Wonderful. Page 14. Good following, Hema. Turn to page 14 and read it to yourself first. Good job. Touch every word. Follow. Follow. Who would like to read page 14 to the class? Nice and loudly, please. Lizette, would you please read page 14 to the class? Page 14. Put your finger on it. Follow with Lizette. Good. Lizette. Shirt is on the baby.
baby's stomach. The stomach and the arms. He put, the, he put the shirt down here on his arms down here. Very good. Page 15. I sure enjoy all these loud readers. Go ahead and read page 15 to yourself. Go ahead, read it to yourself. Like Tony, like Hema, like Salvador. Who would like to read page 15 to the class? Uh, Hema, would you read page 15, please? Pants are in. Are what? Uh, Look at that word again. Not in. Look on. Out. On. The. Um, what are these things? Um, legs. Good. Could you read it, Emma, and touch every word for us? Good. Read it again. The, the pants are in on the um, legs. Very good. And the last page, could you read it to yourself first? Maximo, you're doing a fabulous job. Let's touch every word like, like Ija, and let's touch every word, and let's read it to ourselves. Who would like to read page 16? Who would like to read page 16? Um, Leslie, would you read page 16, please? Nice and loudly, touch every word. The socks are on the feet. Wonderful. I want everybody to go back to page 11, Children reread the phonics mini books for additional practice. Good listening. Good listening, Omar. And we are going to read the, the shirt together. And I want to hear beautiful voices. Thumbs up if you have a beautiful reading voice. Luis, do you have a beautiful reading voice? Thumbs up. Page 11, here we go. I'm waiting for everyone to get their finger on page 11. Everybody, what's the title? The Shirt! Wonderful. I love it. Let's read page 11 together. Ready, set, go. The, the shirt is on the, the head. head. On the head. Page 12. I love it. This is wonderful reading. Ready, go. The, the pants are on the, the arms. What are these? Pants. Arms. What are these? Baby put him on his arms. Page 13. Get your fingers ready. Get your fingers ready. And go. The, the socks are on the hands. Where are the hand? Where are the socks? On the hands. This baby is silly. Page 14. Everybody take your finger right now. Page 14. Ready? S Luis. Ready? Set. Go. The shirt is on the stomach. What, what are these? Arms. What are all these? Body. Body. On the arms, the top part of the body. Very good. On the arms. And I, you know what's so nice is that no one's screaming, yelling, reading, or being silly while they're reading. They're very serious. Page 15. Let's read page 15 together. Put your finger on it. Get your fingers ready. Go. The, the pants. pants. What are they? What are they? The pants are on the legs. On the legs. Very good. And the last page, make it the best. Everyone get your reading finger ready. Put it on the first word. Ready, set, go. The socks are on the feet. Did the baby finally get it right? Yes. yes. Good. Go ahead and uh, close your books. I want you to think. I want someone to raise their hand. Eyes on me. Good job, Omar. Who can summarize the story? If you need to look back in your book, you may. Who can summarize the story and tell us what happened in our wonderful story, The Shirt? Who can summarize it? Tony, can you summarize it, please? What happened in our story, Tony? The baby put the shirt on his head. Any place else? On his arm. Anything else? And he threw the cake on the mommy. That was the first story. Boy, you can summarize both stories. That's fabulous. So the second story, this baby just was crazy with his clothes, and he put his clothes everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. What did you like about the story? Raise your hand. What did you like about the story? Um, uh, Adam, what did you like about the story? I liked about 
when the baby put his his the the pants on his arms. <laughs> Thumbs up if you thought that was a funny part also. Who else liked a part in the story? Someone who's sitting nicely, someone who's paying attention. Lovely, what was your favorite part of the story? I my favorite story is when the the baby cake get cake and put it in the mom. Oh, face. you liked the first story. Oh, oh, good. Is there anyone else who has a favorite part? Albert, do you have a favorite part of the story? Um, I like when the baby put this put his socks on his hands. <laughs> that was very funny. Who can sum up what happened at the end of our story? We know the baby did some silly things at the beginning. Tony told us that. But who can sum up the ending of the story? What happened at the end? Ija, what happened at the end of the story? Summarize it. Um, the, mo the mom. So the baby did silly things. The baby put his pants on his the arms and his head. The mom put the clothes on the little baby right. Very good, yes. Very good. What I'm going to have you do now is I want you to face your partner. Vivian, you did that so nicely. Thank you. Face your partner. Salvador, come here, please. You can be with uh, Leslie and Hema. Face your partner that way, and you may be with them. And who are my starters? OK, you may start the story, and you're going to go back and forth between partners. Ready? Go. Good job. You can read the second story or both. That's OK. OK. You can be Thea's since we switched seats a little bit. And you two can be partners. Ready? Go, Maximo. Go. I want to hear good reading. And you're touching your words. Fabulous. Oh, sure they Wait, wait. You're reading this shirt. I love that story. Okay, you job. Go first. Go. Page 11. Go. I want to hear your reading. Page 11. Touch it. Touch it. He just turned. Good. Page 12. Your turn, Andre. Right here. Touch it. The pants are on the What are these? Pants. What are these? The <laughs> pants are on the arm. Good. Page 13. Albert, go. The socks are on the hand. Beautiful. Your turn, page 15. 14, go. Oops. Good following. The, the shirt is pants. The, the pants and the Look at the picture, Maximo. Look at it. The arms, yes. Okay. Turn around. Good listening the first time. Give yourselves a pat, double pat on the back for doing such a good job reading. Very good. T today we are going to have our copies of the baby in workshop. And you'll be able to color your books, your very own books, and read them and practice them with a partner or two. And then you'll be able to take these home. Silent cheer. Spelling begins with the word building game. This is a very fun game I'm going to teach you today. It's called the word building game. What's it called? The word building game. We are going to build words. Now, don't touch anything. You need, Maximo, to look at me. You need to look at the cards, your sound spelling cards. And you'll need to work with your own cards. I have put in your desk, in your basket, a bag. Don't touch it yet. In your bag, I have prepared 
the three sounds you need. So when you open your bag, when I say go, you're going to unzip it, take out three sounds, ah, don't touch your bags yet, mm, and who raise your hand if you think you know the last sound? Maxima, what do you think the last sound will be? T. What sound? Good. When I say go, you will get out your A card. Mmm. And t. And then, I didn't say go. Then you will put the rest of the pile, zip it back up. This is the first time the children are playing the word building game. Kelly gives the children the word, uses it in a sentence, and then the children repeat the word, identify the sounds, check the sound spelling cards, and then pull down their own card. Okay, listen. Ready? I'm going to say a word, and I'm going to give you a sentence, and then you are going to say the word, and then we're going to listen to the sounds. Tony, you ready? Okay. Am. What's the word? Am. Am. Don't touch your cards. Just look at me. Look at me. I am five feet tall. Am. Am. I want you to think with your brain. What is the first sound in am. Everybody. Am. You got it. Say it again. Am. Let's check the card. Everybody. Am. Good. Which sound spelling card? Am. Lamb. Very good. What's spelling? A. A. I want you to move it next to you. Good. You should have this in front of you. Andre, just the A. Good. My next question, Lanisha. What's the second sound in am? Let's check the card. Which sound spelling card? Which card? What's the name of the card? Monkey. Who said monkey? Good. What's spelling? Good. Move it next to the a. Move it. Look what Andre has. Look. Look what he has, everybody. He has his ah, Lanisha, and he has his mmm. Now take your finger. Take it. Put it down. And let's blend the word. Get your finger under the ah. Get your finger under the ah. Let's sweep it. Here we go. Ready? Wait for me. Wait for me. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Am. Get your finger ready. Let's sweep it and let's read it. Ready? Go. Am. Again. Am. What's the word? Am. Wonderful. Now I want you to change it. Watch my mouth. I want you to change it to at. Raise your hand if you know what to do. Raise your hand if you know what to do. At. Think about it. What's the first sound in at? Everybody, what's the first sound? Check the card. Check the card. Which card? What, what card? Lamb. Who said lamb? Me. Good. What spelling? A. a. Put your finger on A. Do you have it? Touch it. Say ah. Good. What's the second sound? Watch me. Second sound in at. Listen. At. You, oh, it's the sound. Which card? Timer. Timer. And what, what spelling? T. I want you to move it next to the A. Ah. Change it. You have to change. You don't want that mm anymore. Mm -mm. You don't want it anymore. Look at Andre has. Look. At. Let me do it on the board. Watch me, Andre. Make sure you have it right. At. Everybody, take your finger. Let's blend it. Put your finger under the first sound. Here we go. Wonderful. Do it one more time. 
your last word. Watch my mouth. Put your cards down. Good, Sarah. Your last word, Sarah. Are you ready? Watch my mouth. Watch me. Mat. I will lay on the mat. Mat. Say it. Mat. Mat. Mm. Andre, what? Mm. What is it? Mm. What is it? Mm. What sound? Monkey. Monkey. It's the, it's the card, but what is, is it the first sound or the second sound or the third? Third. Listen. Mat. First. Mat. first. What is it? Mat. Mat. The first sound. Check the card. Check the card. Which sound? Spelling card, everybody. Monkey. What is it? Monkey. What spelling? M. Move it. Okay. You should have, mm, that's the first sound. So excited. Listen to the second sound. Put it on the table so you can see it. First sound is mmm. Everybody, look and see if you have it. Look. Does everyone have that? Thumbs up if you do. Okay. Ready for the middle sound? What's the middle sound, everybody? Ah. Salvador, check the card. Lamb. 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 What spelling? What spelling? A. a. Who said A? a. Very good. Put it right there. Right next to mmm. Mad. Look here. Look here. Oh my goodness, look at this. Mad. Listen to the last sound. Listen to the last sound. Mat. Mat. Check the card. Which card? Timer. 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 Good. What spelling? G. G. Move it to the last space. See if you have it. Take your fingers, everybody. Let's sweep the word and blend it. Here we go, Sarah. Ready, Leslie? Ready, Omar? Get your fingers under there. Mass. Again. Mass. Wonderful. Give yourself a pat on the back. Sarah, I'm going to ask you to do something. The rest of you. If you want to join in our game, you can. You have to do it very quietly with your cards. Tony, are you going to play? You're going to have to play at your desk. All right, Sarah, are you ready? Is everybody ready? Yes. yes. Okay, get your hands ready. Sarah, make the word am. No voices. <sighs> Fabulous. Sarah. Change it to at. Look at you, you're joining in. Change it to mat. Big change, Sarah. If you're joining in our game, listen. Change it to our new word. Listen to what I say. Tam. Tam. And Sarah, since you played our, my game with me, I'm taking out my TAM. Sarah, what do you think a TAM is? To put it on your head. What do you think it is? A hat. It's a kind of a hat. Raise your hand if you made the word TAM. It should look like this. Watch me. T -a Thumbs up if you made Tam. Wow, people played with us, Sarah. That's fabulous. Okay, listen. You are going to put your cards. Nope, not till I say go. You are going to put your cards in your bag when I say go. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. No, I didn't say go. You're not doing it. I'm doing it. Then I'm going to zip them up. And I'm going to put them in my basket. And that's it. Let's see how quietly we can do it. Ready? I didn't say go. Ready? Go. Oh, fabulous. Oh, so nicely. I can't hear them. Look at Tony. He's putting him quietly in his bag. Just put him in your bag. Zip it up. Put him in your basket, and you're done. Oh, 
Sarah's ready. Put him in your basket. Right in here. Sarah's ready. Maxwell's ready. Right there. Slip it up. Put him in. Very good. When I call you, you may come to your reading seats. Table one. Stand up. Push in your chair. Who taught you to get up out of your desk so nicely? Good job. Your mom. Table two, push your chairs in and come up. Come up to your reading seat. Table three, be very careful. Table four, push your chair. Oh, thanks, Tony. Go back and walk, please. Table five. And table six. I'm so excited to do our last activity for the day, workshop, silent cheer. Before beginning workshop, Kelly reviews the workshop rules and the workshop materials. Now, let's go over the rules of workshop. Let's go over our rules. Number one. Oh, raise your hand. Raise your hand if you remember number one. Sarah, do you remember rule number one? Be polite. Be polite. What does that mean, Sarah? What does that mean? It means don't like say, it's mine, it's mine, I'm first, I'm first. That's right. You don't say, it's mine, I'm first. And be rude to people. Yeah. Who can read number two or tell me what the second rule is? Hema, do you remember what it is? Share. Share. What do you do when you share, Hema? Um, you don't have to say, it's mine, it's mine, you share. What do you mean share? Like, um, do what? Um, um, the, you and, your, and the other, other people share. Good. And what do you do when you share? Um, do you steal it from someone? What do you do? Um, um, Mm, you. If that, you have a game, what do you do with it when you share? Um, you 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 play with it with your other friend. Good. You take turns and you play with your other friend. Number three, very important. Albert, what does it say? Mm, do it with your voice. You don't. You don't. Uh, whisper. Whisper. What is it, Albert? Whisper. Yeah. Albert, why is it important to whisper at workshop? Because you, cause you can't yell. Why? Because, because, um, they can't hear. Very good. You can't hear if you're yelling. And number four, it's a tricky one. Let me read it to you and then you explain it. Take what you need, return it properly. What does that mean? Take what you need, Return it properly. Thea, what does that mean? That means, I mean, that, okay. that means. What does take what you need mean? Take what you need means um, um, take it and go play with it. And then when you're done, put it back properly. Good, you put in it the, back where it belongs. And in, in the right folder. Sure, in the right folder. Now, what if you go, Thea, to the writing center? How would you put the things away properly at that table? Uh, you would put, put, you would put the markers in the marker basket mm -hmm. and put the papers back if you don't want it. Good, very good. And Thea, one more question. If you were at the library center, well, how would you put the books back properly? You would. Stick your marker in and take the book out and read it and then put the book in and then put them and then pull the marker up and get another one. Excellent. Very good. I think you know your rules for workshop. We are going to have a couple different centers to work at today. I will assign your center. You will go to your center, Adam. 
you will work at your center, and then when you're finished at the center that I put you at, you can go do another center. You can go somewhere else to work. I will pick the first activity, and you choose what you want to do after. Thumbs up if you understand. Initially, Kelly assigns children to activities. The workshop area is simple, but clearly marked. Everyone, put your eyes on the library center. And the markers are here to use. Thea explained how to use them. We have our games center, where we can pull our ABC order games. And we have things like alphabet puzzles, cards that you put in ABC order, lots of fun activities. We have our go fish game, our match game, lots of neat things you can do. Remember we have our reading center where you can read the books that you have created. The Rain is on Everything book that you made, your All About Me books that you made, and you can always, always work um, in them if you want to add something to them if you go and you decide to write also. We also have, oh, my favorite, the baby, the nice books. You can also take a paper book and read the paper book also. We have our outlaw word cards to read, and we have our other books, last week's books, A Table and the Egg. You can always go there. And don't forget, we have our listening center in the back where we can listen to the stories and the tapes, the books. Love the listening center. And over here we have the writing center where you can get markers and crayons, different size paper and write stories, look in magazines, you can work on your letter books. So many activities to do. So I'm going to pick who goes where first. And I don't want to hear anyone say, I don't want to go there. Oh, let me go here. I want you to go where you're assigned. When you're finished, you may choose where else you'd like to work. Thumbs up if you understand. Okay, let's see who's ready. Oh, let's see. I'm going to have the third row. You will be, listen, you will be at the library center first. So go ahead and walk over to the library center. Good walking. The library center first. Everyone needs a marker, Thea, so why don't you pass them out to the people at the library center today. Fabulous. Sarah, you will join them at the library center today. Good job, Thea. Thank you. I chose her also. Thanks, Thea. Look how nicely they went to the library center. That was fabulous. At this time, she works with small groups to reteach and practice the phonics taught that day. As Kelly works with the children, the others are practicing skills with games, reading books, working on their writing, and listening to the audio cassette for Look Who's Reading. Kelly works with small groups, providing instruction based on observations made during teaching. Watch me, watch the board. Sarah's excited. Sound. Mm, good. Sound. Mm. Blend. Mm. Okay, now look, when we blend, we go like this. Watch. Mm. Nah. I'm going to run my hand under. Watch. Mm. Nah. Kelly works with a second group of children, listening to them reread the phonics mini books and reviews the outlaw or sight words. Good. Good. What is it, Maximo? Good. Salvador? Lanisha? Very good. Eyes are on me, and you stop. Lanisha, right where you are. It's time to clean up. So listen. You are going to tiptoe, tiptoe to take your things around to clean up. Like rule number four says, put things away properly. And then you walk to your reading seat. Ready? I don't want to hear any noise. 
Ready? Albert, Adam, go. Good job, Michael. You're putting things away. You're walking up quietly. Tiptoe starts with tss. Meet me at your reading seat when you're finished. Put all those away. Very good. You can put them in your work in progress folders at your desk. Hurry up. Look at Chalia. She's putting the markers back so nicely. And everybody at the games, put the games back nicely. You need to put the game back where it belongs. Okay, ladies, come back to the floor. We're going to end our day with a song. Hmm, maybe. Anisha, you're fine. All right, everyone, get your rockers ready. Get your rockers ready. I want to see good rocking. Rocking and rolling. Here we go. Sit down. We're going to do our song first. Well, we ought to teach you that. Here we go. Ready? Go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, L, P, Q, R, S, N, T, U, V, A, W, S, N, A, Y, N, Z. We're going to rock around the alphabet tonight. Do, do, do.